how to use the new global edit feature in Illustrator and use it with the artboards. That's the key thing, artboards. Once you've created the artboards, you can see some artboards here I've already created, just create a path for that artboard. I'm going to duplicate that path and put it in all of the artboards in different ways, different sizes. And just to show you, you can use the global edit feature with different size designs. So once you've actually created that design, very basic logo design, just group them via the object menu. Then Alt option, just to duplicate them. You can resize it, so just resize that design. Just drag it over there, maybe create multiple copies of it, maybe two, three, four, whatever. Just put it there. Also, you can add effects. I'm just gonna to go to effect and add a blur, Gaussian blur, could be any effect, of course. Click OK, it's still the same design and then just go over there. Now, if you go to actual start global edit, and that's in the properties, you can see all these, there's actually options for appearance and size. You can match appearance and size. I'm just going with basically, don't worry about the size and appearance. So they're all, so now as soon as you click start global edit, you can see there's a bounding box on the appearing around there. You can see that design. Now you can resize the design. You can select any of the parts and resize any of the parts and all the same, Changes will occur for all of the parts during the global edit. There is a limit. There are certain things that suddenly it will, anyway. So edit colors, you can just go there. It will come up, right, just click there, randomize the color. Click OK at this point. Now, as soon as you do that, come up with a dialogue saying that uh, that it's gonna lose the, obviously it's gonna make appearance of the same for all of them. So obviously the blur is removed at that point. So you see the blur has disappeared from that one on the left. So. You can stop the global edit anytime. Now, what you can do, just click, once you've actually stopped the global edit, just go there, select and see if you move it there when you're actually not doing your global edit, then you won't see the effect actually modified in all the other parts. So with the direct selection tool selected, click on the start global edit and you can see, just move that there and you can see the path is dragged down there, just that path. You can also select a particular point, so you just go there, just select there, just drag that out. And this is all while the global edit is currently on. And this is reflected in all the artboards. Click stop feature again, stop global edit. And what you can do then, you can see the appearance over there. So what you can do, just go over to one of the paths, just select that, make sure you select the whole path. We don't have to, of course, you could select just one part of it. What you do then, it goes in blur, Click OK and you see that's blurred. Now they're all identical still, as far as it's concerned, they're similar paths. So you can just select that one, make certain you click the global edit, start global edit again, and you can see they're all selected, got the bounding box. If one doesn't have a bounding box, then it just isn't, as far as it's concerned, similar. So and you can obviously make all the various changes. You can go to recolor again, just click through there, say change the color, click OK. And once you've done that, it will come up with a panel again, yeah, just dialogue, just saying, and you will put blur on all of them. It will match it completely across the thing. You might not want the blur on all of them, so you're going to have to manually just go through and change that. Just go there to the properties and remove the blur off each of those individually. So just select that, click, click that, get rid of that, and get rid of that. And it's still, they're all similar. It just happens to have a blur on one of them only. And now if you actually resize and do things, again, because I haven't actually clicked the start, nothing happens, nothing changes. The key thing is, as soon as you click start global at that point, you'll get a message saying there's nothing that's similar. So you have to click start global before you do any changes. You move it around, resize it, stretch it, rotate it, and all those sort of things can be done. Hope this found, hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.